Well hi folks, I uh, managed to get hold of some horse manure this year for the first time in a while but you know me, I'm, I'm so paranoid about the sort of poisons that can be left in it, residual herbicides specifically the amino pyrolids that they use to spray on on grassland um, where they take hay and then the horse eats the hay the hay is still contaminated with it, it goes straight through the horse, through into the manure and stays there until it comes into contact with the ground, with the soil and then that takes about two or three years for it to break down. In the meantime, if you put that on your ground, you're just going to ruin all your crops apart from brassicas for probably one or two years. So, as you can see, I've got a few tubs of it here, I've got a lot more tubs, I've got a big barrel load, sorry, a big trailer full of it. So I'm going to do a test now, which is the only test you can do to find out whether or not it's safe or not. So what I did is I took a little nugget of each poo out of each tub, there's about 20 tubs. I've mixed that with compost and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to sow some peas and beans in it, in the compost. And then, because they're the, they seem to be the most susceptible to this certain chemical, amino pyrolid. And then if they grow away well, then it's, it'll be fine. But if that shows any sort of signs of cupping of the leaves or stunted growth, shriveling or anything like that, then that's a sure sign that you've, that you've got the amino pyrolid. And just to give you an idea of how strong amino pyrolid is, it can actually ruin your crops at such small concentrations as one part per billion. And if you put that into context, one gram would actually contaminate a thousand tons of horse manure a thousand tons one gram one little like quarter of a teaspoon that's how strong it is so and that's how dilute it only needs to be before you get into any trouble so like i said even storing it for five ten years in a mucky will not break it down it needs to be in contact with the soil and obviously you can't do that you're just going to risk it so the only way to do it is to test it so like i said i've planted some peas and beans in i'll be taking some pictures as they grow along just to see how they're going and then probably after about a month if they're growing away well with lots of new growth and none of that growth affected then it should be absolutely fine so that's what we're doing at the moment it's just a matter of waiting like i said i'm gonna mix this with some compost grow some legumes in it as they're the most susceptible and then we'll see how we get on later so uh, we'll see how we do well hi folks, I've got the old uh, muck home now and I've mixed it in well with some, some of my bog standard compost. So what I'm going to do now, I've mixed it about two parts compost to one part manure. So for this test, like I said, I'm just going to plant some peas and beans. So I'll put some peas in that one and some French beans in this. And then if they grow away well, then all should be well. So I'll just saw those, nothing too fancy. Likewise the peas, just chuck them in. Give them a good watering. Grow them on on this windowsill. And then in a week or two, we'll see how they get on. Hopefully they should grow fine. If they grow any sort of distorted leaves or any sort of cupping or you know really wrinkled horrible stunted things then i'll know that there's something wrong with it but if they grow past the true leaf past the, the uh, seed leaf stage and then onto the true leaves which is getting energy from the from the soil then we should be okay because then that'll prove that the energy that they're getting from the muck in the compost hasn't done it any harm so there shouldn't be any contaminants in there anyway i'll, uh, I'll show you some progress in a week and then another couple of weeks to see how things are getting on and uh, we'll see if it's all right well hi folks this is 10 days after sowing the peas and the beans as you can see well, the peas have come up all right the beans are a bit slower because it's been a bit cold and i've only got them on the windowsill but so far they're looking so good but the thing is with them only being so small it's only the seed that's produced the leaf so they've not actually probably used any roots to get down and get any energy to produce any more leaves so this probably won't give me a decent indication as to whether or not the, the manure is contaminated enough uh, or not. So what I'm going to have to do is just leave these probably another two weeks until they start producing their own true leaves using their own roots. And then when the roots have got into all the, all the muck, if there is anything nasty in it, then it should show within the leaves with them being cupped and curled and all wrinkled and stunted. But so far so good anyway. 
if there's a real bad concentration of it then you can see it initially in the seed leaves so so far so good so we'll give it another week or two see what they look like and then hopefully if they've grown away well without any problems then the old manure should be okay so we'll have a look in a week or two well, hi folks another uh, seven days later so this is 17 days since sowing and they're looking pretty healthy peas especially because they've seemed to have more than just seed leaf growth on i think they're actually producing their own true leaves now and there's not a sign of anything all there are on the beans though so far are the seed leaves which are these and it's this little bit here which is the the first growing tip that's the bit to keep an eye on because when i did this test when i had some um, contaminated compost that's the bit that went all really mutated and stuff so we'll give it another week have a look at it then and then if that keeps growing nice and fresh, healthy and fresh and gets some decent leaves on then I can pretty much pretty well say that uh, the compost or the, the manure is uh, free of any contamination so we'll have another look in a week or so and see how we're getting on well hi folks another six days and I think now I can safely say that the manure is absolutely fine because as you can see I've started growing these new stems out of the one these are the ones that wrap around the canes that climb up more fresh leaves no sign of any distortion or anything likewise the peas plenty of new leaves probably about six leaves on so everything's looking pretty good so basically that just proves that there's nothing in this compost that'll in this manure that'll do any, any anything any harm due to the results of this test so you might think it's a bit of a long-winded way of testing your manure to see if there's any any nasties in it but to be honest it's the only way you can test it there's no sort of chemical test you can do you can't send a bit to a lab and to find out whether there's any in it because the concentrations are so low that they just can't pick it up so like i said it's taken 20 well 22 days 23 days so three weeks to, to perfectly make sure that there's nothing wrong with your compost rather than just winging it hoping for the best chucking it on your garden and then ruin it for it for a year or two so there you go folks, if you found this interesting, give us a like, give us a comment. But like I said, it's just the only way you can really test your manure to find out whether there's any amino pyrolids or any persistent herbicides in it. So that's about it folks. See you later.